Hi guys, I'm Dr. Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. And today is a special day because we're out at the barn. And today I'm going to show you guys how to give a horse a bath. Today I'm going to use Zymox's shampoo with the patent LP3 enzyme system. And we're going to give our model, Brooklyn here, a bath. And the important thing about these shampoos is that they have broad spectrum antimicrobials to fight against bacterial infections. And the enzymes also work against fungal infections, which is a very common thing in horses. So that's important to have in your shampoo that you use when you're giving them a bath. So you want to make sure that your horse is safe and the standard way of giving them a bath is having them in cross ties in a confined area or you can tie them to the fence with a nice slip knot so that they can get out safely if they need to. Brooklyn's here on cross ties and now we're going to go ahead and get started with her bath. A standard way to start your horse bath is by turning on the hose at their feet and that way it doesn't startle them and it can keep them calm during their bath. So here we go, starting out at her feet, gauging how she's acting. Brooklyn's had a lot of baths, so she's calm, but some horses that aren't used to baths, they might get a little startled just with the water starting at their feet. And then you slowly work your way up their body, up their shoulder. You can go along the side of them. I like to start at the front of their feet, that's the safest way, and then work your way towards their back legs. So start at the feet on their back legs. And then you can work your way up the neck. Some horses that aren't used to baths might get a little nervous. So it's good for you just to stay calm and just work your way up their neck. All right, so I have the Zymox shampoo here and I'm gonna first pour it on the horse and I'm gonna put my mitt on, which this is like a curry sort of mitt that will help build a bunch of suds, get deep down to their skin, and then we'll go ahead and curry all over her body and get the shampoo all over her. And a really nice thing about this product is that it makes a lot of suds because you have a big horse to cover a big surface area. So it's nice how soapy this gets to get her all nice and clean. So again, like I said before, that this product has that enzyme that's an antibacterial. It's really good for their wounds to help any wounds that they have or cuts. And then with fungal infections in horses, that's a big thing that every horse owner is looking out for, is making sure that their horses don't get fungal infections, um, which is common for them. They live outside, unlike our cats and dogs. So fungal infections is one thing that you always want to make sure your horses are clean. Getting down her legs. This is where horses like to get nicks and little cuts that can cause bacterial infections, fungal infections that are really nasty. And then your horse is lame and you can't ride your horse. So using a product that also has antibacterial, antifungal properties is great. You're doing all the right things for your horse. So you want to make sure you get all of the suds off of them so that they're not sitting in it. No matter what shampoo you're using, you wanna make sure that they're all clean and no suds are on them after. Brooklyn did so good for her bath. Now we're gonna use this tool, which I call a squeegee. It could be a sweat scraper or something else. But we're gonna go ahead and dry her off with this and then make sure she's completely dry before putting her back in the stall because you don't want them to be wet. They live outside. That can create a bacterial infection or fungal infections. So we're gonna go ahead and completely dry her off and then put her back. If you guys liked this video and it gave you a good tutorial on how to give your horse a bath, please hit that subscribe button, share this video with your friends, and also remember to hit the bell so you get a notification to when I post a video every Thursday at five o'clock. And I hope to see you guys back here for some more veterinary videos.